Hi everyone. So this is episode two of trying to rank up in Phantom Forces by doing crazy challenges. Oh no. Oh no. Oh hi. No. And today I'm going to make it to rank 20 and I decided to use a lot of the challenge ideas that you guys suggested in the last video. So anyways, we're starting here at rank 10 and for the first challenge, I'm not allowed to miss. And if I do miss, then I have to join a new server. A lot of people suggested headshot only, but I felt like that would be a little bit too hard. So I did allow body shots, but don't worry. It was still very hard. Please wish me the best of luck. My strategy is going to be very simple. I'm only going to take shots when I am 100% confident that I'm not going to miss. Okay, I mean that. All right, don't worry about that. The challenge starts here. I need people to just not move at all, like this guy. All right, if I get a hit marker, it doesn't count as a miss, all right? So if I need to go for a torso shot, I will, please. Okay, torso shot. And this challenge was honestly really humbling because it showed me how comfortable I've gotten with just missing shots and taking terrible shots in general. Bro, oh no. Just just kill me. You got it, man. Here, I'll, I'll give you the little assist here. I got you, man. There we go. Bro, I, I, <laughs> but it was nice to try and focus a bit more on taking good deliberate shots. To be fair, like what's life without a little risk? Dude, where are all the campers when you need them? Oh, oh my God. Did I actually do that? I think for my next stun, I should fall out of an airplane. Yep, just keep standing there. Oh, yes. Did I miss? I think I missed. All right, well, I got six kills there. Uh, pretty good, pretty solid. There were a lot of times, though, where I simply wouldn't want to shoot because the person was moving too weirdly. Nope, not doing that. Goodbye. And I'm not very great at predicting movement, so I had to try and find the right balance between taking good quality shots and not going like five minutes without shooting anyone because I was too afraid to miss. Is it better to just miss than not shoot at all? What's the point of like avoiding the miss if I'm not gonna get any XP anyways? I gotta just go for it. All right, give me the peek, give me the peek. Oh, I almost got a collat there, trying to get the KDR positive. I missed. Triple kill. Dude, that's my first quad kill. Okay, I am feeling it. I am not going to miss. What are they doing? All right. Dude, I love these guys. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my God. They they are just, they're with the program with me. How many? Okay, I'm at 2.2k XP. I'm going 10 and 1. Okay, best decision of the video, joining a height. Even if I miss now, I'll still be really happy. Okay, I got the hit marker. We can stay in the lobby. I kind of actually don't want to leave this one. Close. All right. Okay, we're good. We're good. I can do it. I can do it. I'm, I'm only like 300 away. We're going to do it. No, I'm like one and a half kills away. I, I, I rushed it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, we got the rank up. For rank 11, I decided to try an idea that I came up with, which was to disable name tags in the settings. And this makes it a lot harder to tell if someone is a teammate or an enemy, but you can still kind of tell by the color of their clothes. And the challenge seemed a little bit too easy at first, so I decided to make it a bit harder by turning off the UI entirely. So this way, I wouldn't be able to see the radar, my health, the ammo in the gun, and I wouldn't even be able to see if I got a kill or not. The challenge was surprisingly really fun, and it somehow made the game feel more fresh and interesting. Let me get that tag. Teammate, what are you doing? I appreciate you, but you could have went for the tag there. The fact that there wasn't any UI at all, even while getting kills, just adds a whole new factor of realism to the game. Bro, did I get anyone there? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna flank them. They had the same idea. Dude, it's kind of hard not knowing how much health I have. Oh, so close. Oh, what a nice kill. Imagine I get some, like, insane multi without even knowing. Oh, no. Okay, triple kill. I think I got to turn on the ragdolls, though. Just, just for fun. Oh, nice. Yeah, the ragdolls make a difference. Uh oh 
Got him. Dude, I actually really like this. This is like kind of fun, actually. It just makes it seem more realistic. Like, <laughs> I don't know. There's just something about like making sure you're not like trying to assassinate your teammate. Okay, I got like 2k XP. We can probably do it this round. Although, I don't know how much time is left. It's just, it's up to me, Jim the airplane pilot. Oh. Oh. Hi, come on. This is it. The final push. Got him. I'm really wondering if the rank up is going to show or not. Okay, I think we need one more kill. All right, I think we ranked up and uh, <laughs> there's no rank up. That's kind of sad. But yeah, there we go, rank 12. For the next rank, I would have to use the alternate fire mode and aim mode for the gun of my choice. I chose the a 94 because it has a really unique firing mode, which is an 1800 RPM burst. And then I also bought the C79 scope so I could have an all aim. To be honest, I should have used something like the sideways grip to get a more interesting all aim. But to be fair, the one I chose was pretty hard to use anyways. I think this was a really unique challenge and props to the guy who came up with it because I would have literally never used the a 94 on burst if it weren't for this challenge i'm pretty bad at using burst guns but i'm not gonna let that stop me look at that that was like the best kill bro i am so bad at this is that oh i thought he was in the tree bro i can literally snipe with this this is like a dmr nice i'm getting the hang of it i swear after every challenge like playing the game without that challenge just feels weird oh no nah, no nah, i see you bro I just unlocked the Delta site and I was like, hey, I kind of want to use the Delta site. And then I realized I can't. <laughs> Howdy. Okay, let me know. Is there anyone in the world that actually uses the burst mode on the AN-94? Please tell me. Yeah, what, what, what are you going to do now? I'm in your house. I'm in your house. Dang, dude. Okay. <laughs> you must live in America. Why, hello. Triple kill. <laughs> I think that is the first triple kill I've got. You know, I bet it pains someone <laughs> to see me play with this gun. I hate unlocking good sights while I'm using this thing. Triple kill again. Jeez. Oh, sniped him. Oh, burst gun versus burst gun. Top of the leaderboard. We all know that's not going to last long. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I really want to make some of you burst users proud. I, I got to learn how to do it. Dude, the frags are like magnetic or something. What, what what do I do there? I guess just not spawn in next time. That's all I can think of. I, kn I knew it. This also has a semi-firing mode. I wonder how that is. Dude, it's so bad. I have to get a kill with it, though. There we go, long shot. What was he doing? He was cooking up some evil plan, I know it. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! No, he almost got me. What? No, no, no. Stop. Stop. I mean, like, they're going out of their way <laughs> to throw the grenades. Like, they could just be more efficient. But no, it's not about efficiency. It's about pure evilness. Hey, look at that. We're almost there. Throughout the course of this challenge, I've somehow gotten worse with this gun. Thank you. This should be it right here. No, it's not. Okay, one more. Just one more. There we go. The next challenge is only having one mag or not being able to reload for the entire rank. So if I went through a whole mag, I would have to respawn to get more ammo. I am garbage. Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> I decided to use a sniper for this because I just unlocked the R700 and I would get a chance at like six or more kills per mag with the sniper depending on like collats and stuff. So compared to like a 30 round mag auto, I felt like the sniper would give me more kills. And while the challenge idea was pretty good, I honestly think I cheated a little bit because I would literally just throw myself into gunfights where the chance of dying was so highly probable that I ended up dying before even getting the chance to reload a bunch of times. So how's it going back here? Oh, either way, it was pretty interesting. And I ended up getting a ton of deaths just because of this play style. Yeah, let's let's go up here, team. All at once, just so they don't know we're coming. <laughs> and see, that's what happens. So not the greatest KDR-wise 32 deaths, but it was pretty fun. Okay, that's not, not bad. There we go. That's three kills in the mag so far. Oh, he died. Why did he die? Who killed him? I need to know this. Oh, almost a triple. I made that up. I have no idea. What happened to that guy? <gasps> no! Why, hello. I kind of like the SKS. This needs like a 50 bullet drum mag. 
That would be reasonable. All right, two bullets again. I did it. <laughs> Let's go. It's not a good idea to pre-fire with this challenge. Oh my God. Dude, have some manners, please. That's four kills in the mag. Can we make it five? Oh man, my strategy is so good. I'm just playing so aggressive that this challenge isn't even really a handicap. I mean, come on, 38 deaths, that has to be a record. All right, we need like one more, just one more. It is tag run though, so we probably need like two more. All right, yeah, one more. There we go. For rank 14, I would be doing no scoping or hip firing only. This was a pretty straightforward challenge and it was one that I enjoyed a lot for whatever reason since I'm used to hip firing a lot from trick shotting. I wasn't hitting that many shots to be honest, but that's probably because I was mostly going for long range no scopes at first. And a little piece of advice with this challenge is that no scoping with snipers is actually a really great way to improve at sniping because the better you are at lining shots up before scoping in, the more accurate your sniping is gonna be. Oh, hi. Wait, I missed? I somehow ended up at the top of the leaderboard. And after the intervention, I used the M4 for a little bit, which wasn't a bad experience at all. I'm gonna jump right into the window. And there we go. Sniping? Sniping with hip fire M4? Trick shotting. Trick shotting with the M4. <laughs> there is a guy here. I got an SFG. All right, this is perfect. I have a legend of a gun in my hands. My SFG is gone. It's gone. Out of my way. Okay, I got the SFG back. Uh-oh. It'd be helpful if I wasn't getting shot at. No! That was so cool. I love this gun. I haven't used the SFG in so long. It used to be my main secondary, though. Oh, no. I ran out of bullets. The free trial ended. I need to renew it. What do you think you're doing? I'm not there anymore. Hello guys. <laughs> I feel like one of those like um, nomads, like the Mongols back in the day. Good job teammate. Dylan, Dylan. And finally, I wrapped it up with the R700 and got to rank 15. A great sniper to no scope with. What, what, is, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, that was a triple hit marker. All right, about 2k XP left. Oh. He's gone. No, don't do it. There we go. Okay, so rank 15 was probably the most frustrating rank of the entire series so far. In the first episode, I did a challenge where I could only move by pressing W. For this challenge, I was only allowed to move by pressing a or D, which are the keys to move side to side. So that meant if I wanted to walk forward to get to an area, I would have to turn sideways and walk that direction without being able to see what was in front of me. And to make it a little bit easier, I allowed myself to jump whenever I wanted. But even then, this challenge was extremely difficult and I honestly didn't have a lot of fun doing this, but I knew it had to be done because it makes for great content. And this one took me about 45 minutes in total and it was pretty brutal. This is just impossible, I can't go anywhere. At least I can strafe, you know? That is the one good thing. That's about it though. Lovely. Man, I thought this would be easy. I had like pretty good hopes for this. I need five kills. <laughs> I'm desperate. No. I just got tripled. <laughs> That was maybe the worst experience I've ever had on this game. I went over to containers of fun for a little bit because I figured a map where I didn't have to move around too much since it was so small would probably be the best strategy. Get him, teammate. Get him. You got it. Nice one. I'm going to make more use of the jumping because I allowed myself that. Yeah, the best way to do it is like hold peaks. I shouldn't be trying to like travel 10,000 miles every game. How did how did I survive? Never mind. All right, one kill at a time. I just gotta believe, you know? I gotta have that faith. <sighs> Man, the world would be a better place <laughs> without these frags. Hello. Oh, all right, trying some warehouse, praying this goes well. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so I kinda wanna go over to where the cars are. Like, I'm, I'm gonna just be doing that the whole game. I should have thought of this earlier. This is a great idea. 
Nice. Okay. That was six quick kills. No, not again. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Okay, I'm 3,000 away. You know what? We got to cap the hill. That would be so nice. Please, let me cap the hill. No. Team, we got it. We got our teammates. Let's go. Capture the hill. Game is over. All right, we're getting close. It's flare domination. You know what? I got an idea. I'm just going to spawn on this guy as he's capping it. All right, here we go. Nice. Oh, let's get this one. Teammate, come with me. Yes. Okay. I think I only need like one kill. I am so ready to be done with this. Yes, I did it. Oh my God. That took way too long. But yeah, I was so glad to be done with this one. And I would highly discourage you from trying it yourself unless you're looking for a good reason to quit the game. The next challenge is pretty similar to the last one because they're both movement based challenges. But for this one, I had to crouch for the entire rank. All right. I'm uh, going to try to be strategic with where I like try to spawn because as you can see, I'm not going very fast. So yeah, I got to get in good places when I spawn so that I don't really have to move too much to, to find people. Sh should I spawn here? Yeah, why not? What can go wrong? I definitely need some attachments. I'm going to die. <laughs> Bro tried to Kobe it. Please, I'm reloading. Make it a fair fight next time, sir. Z point. I'm equipping that right away. Dude, this thing is such a laser. I was actually expecting this one to be a little bit harder than the previous challenge because it would mean I could only move at like not even half the speed. I am quite in the open right now. <laughs> it, it only takes 10 minutes to get to cover, you know? Hector. Good job, Hector. But it ended up going really well for some reason, like way better than the last challenge. I'm somehow at the top of the leaderboard and it was overall a very easy challenge. Uh oh, oh, I got him. No, I didn't. Hi there. Is that King Charles? No, <laughs> I thought that was King Charles. I got the head glitch going. No way. I love the Scar L. This gun is amazing. It's, it's just like an aim trainer, this gun. <laughs> oh my god. No! I wasn't ready. Dude, I'm not ready. Chill. What was that? That was ridiculous. All right. I got 61 kills by only crouching. I, I don't know how. That was a good game, though. Also, I discovered the new meta. Crouching basically gives you a superpower. That is, people just not noticing you or paying any attention to you a lot of the times. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm out of bullets. I'm gonna pick up this VSS, I guess. All right, buddy, where are you? Kill Jim? Why? I have my nine kill streak. I don't wanna die. I got him. 11. This VSS is so good. Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. It's like stealth mode when you're crouched. I just feel like I'm invisible. I took the invisibility potion. I'm out of ammo for this gun too. I've got like 1500 left. So it's looking pretty good. What's up? What? What do I do? Oh, rank up. Hello. All right, I got 43 kills that round and we ranked up to rank 17. For rank 17, I would only be allowed to get long range kills. So like 200 studs or more is what I try to aim for. But the catch is that I would have to use an automatic gun. Let's see, is this 200 studs? I don't know. I chose the Scar L again because it has probably the least recoil out of all the guns I had so far. And plus it comes with a PM2 scope. So that was nice. We have an official sniper scope. Did I, how far is that? 300 studs. Okay, we're good. That better be 200. Okay, that was 190. Close enough, close enough. Let's go. That is a 350 stud double kill. Now I just gotta get like 100 more of those. Oh, nice. This is the best map. I found it. Okay, the one annoying thing about this challenge is that if I <laughs> if I encounter enemies like that with no teammates around, then I'm toast. Oh my. I gotta get rid of this guy. It's one down. No way he's doing that, man. Alright, new plan. Alright, just relax. Relax. Look at these guys. They just don't die. Alright, that's a double. Okay, a multi-kill doing this <laughs> would be very impressive. I need, I need some better recoil. Should I just buy attachments? Oh, oh, I almost got the multi-kill. What the heck? 
I just found the best strategy. <laughs> They're at like the perfect distance. Why are they all going over there? That's the home base. They just decided that's that's their new flare dom. All right, I think there's someone on the billboard. I'm going to risk it anyways. Oh, I found him. All right, hopefully... Okay, he killed me. Exactly what I was hoping he wouldn't do. All right, they're just never going to get me up here, right? All right. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. We'll take it. Oh, I can snipe him. I can get rid of him. Oh, he sees me. How did... How does he know? He just knew immediately. Bro, <laughs> he's going 25 and 2. I really want to get this guy. I re <laughs> He's going 31 and 2. I think I'm going to cheat for one kill. I really just got to get this guy. Oh, he killed me. Okay, I'm, I'm still going to do it. All right, I'm sorry for cheating. And he got me. Thank you, teammate. My life is now complete. Oh, I got him. I might have killed him again. I did not. I killed Lewis. Sorry, Lewis. All right, what a round. Oh, hello. That was way too close. My bad. It is pretty hard to judge the distance sometimes. Wow. Overall, pretty hard challenge, but I managed to get a few nice kills here and there. And although it went slow, it wasn't nearly as, I guess, torturous as the challenge I did for rank 15. I gotta tell you, the scar L is absolutely the only weapon I could probably complete this with. Okay, one of the hardest parts about this challenge is knowing where to go. I mean, there's really only a few good spots where you can consistently see people from 200 plus studs. And plus, you have to balance not getting, like, not getting rushed or not getting sniped. Oh, yes. I did not think I was going to do it that soon. All right, awesome. The next challenge is definitely a classic that I expected more people to recommend, but I think I only got like one comment about it. Anyways, the challenge is pick up or die, but I didn't really want to have to worry about picking up a new gun every single time I killed someone. So I just made it so that I was only allowed to get kills with guns that I picked up off the ground. I'm sorry. So a lot of the times I would just pick up one gun and then use it until I died. Okay, I got a Stevens DB. Full neon. Okay, never mind. I'm going to pick up the AWS and I'm going to die with the AWS. Oh, what? Oh, no. Come on. Oh, no. I had a lot of fun with this challenge and I think it's honestly a very good way to play the game because it can be so interesting to just find what kind of setups other people are using. Oh, a honey badger. I'll take that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it also gives you the chance to try out new guns that you either don't have or just didn't feel like using for whatever reason. And I was getting pretty tired while recording this, so I might sound dead in the footage, but I can definitely say that this challenge is a lot of fun and it's another one I'd recommend to anyone who's looking to try something new in the game. Okay, I love that gun. Nope, wrong move, wrong move. Don't kill me. No, why is there not more ammo? He's got like the 30 mag on this. The skin is just immaculate. Hi. Okay, we got two shotguns. Okay, we only have no shotgun. Oh, look at this. It's a gun show. Yo, what's up? This P90 is really good. Okay, I need a replacement though. Oh, PPSH. I will take that if I can. There we go. Bro, why does he have hell back on it? Okay, maybe it works. It might actually work. Oh, wow. Okay, not the cleanest flick. <laughs> what What is man set up on the Mosin? Dude. This honey badger is amazing. <laughs> okay. This K7 is so fun. It's pretty fun just seeing what setups other people have. Got him. I should be ranking up in like one or two kills. Oh, 
I got the rank up from people spawning. That's nice. Okay, so this last one was a major roller coaster for me. The challenge was originally suggested that after every round, I would have to get rid of a gun and wouldn't be able to use it until the next rank up. I really like the idea, but it would be way too easy since I can rank up in like two to three rounds and I had like 27 available guns. So I changed it to every time I die, I would have to give up the gun I was using and wouldn't be able to use it until I ranked up. And if I'm not able to rank up by the time I get through all the guns, then I would have to use grenades for the rest of the rank so yeah I'm, I'm playing on desert for probably the whole rank just because i know this map so well so it's a lot easier to avoid getting deaths when i know the map that was a mistake oh my <laughs> there were so many people five kills not bad as val time that i could have got sniped there that would have been a blunder oh also another rule that i forgot to mention i'm not allowed to pick up guns i can get ammo from guns though oh he's dead Hello. There's that guy. Oh, he scared me. All right, we're onto the Scar L. Oh, I I'm a reset. That doesn't count. <laughs> I got to put on a real setup for this. Nice little double kill. I, I should be getting a lot with the Scar L. Like 10, 10 kills maybe. Yeah, this thing is such a laser. Oh, I was waiting for the super jump to cool down. Man, that's that's tough. All right, well, we're done with the assault rifles. And this challenge, it started out very iffy. I wasn't doing too great at the start, and there were a lot of times where I just died without even being able to use the gun. I didn't even get a kill with that one. That's crazy. What? Oh, my God. I didn't get a kill with that one either. That was so close. Oh my. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Almost. <gasps> that's, that's so annoying. I mean, the shotguns are just not going to be good. Uh oh. Why would you do that? Oh no, dude, it's it's falling apart. I guess the thing I'm scared of the most is probably grenades. Well, oh, and BFGs, I mean. <laughs> I went on a few good runs with the PDWs, especially the UMP45. Uh oh. I'm kind of just retreating. Oh no, he's behind me. All right, man, I just gotta be ready. I gotta be ready for anything. I gotta expect the unexpected. Whoa, I could not see anything there. I'm, nope, nope, nope. You're not getting me. Wow, props to that guy. <laughs> I did not think he would get that. All right, I'm gonna get a little revenge on this guy. Bro. Oh no. Hi. Okay, 18 and 3 so far. Doing way better than last round. <gasps> That's a grenade. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm just gonna wait the round out. I went 23 and 3. I still have like all the LMGs, all the snipers, all the DMRs, and then all the pistols. <gasps> what? Oh my, this is so risky. I'm I'm on like 17 in total with this MP7. I'm so nervous, bro. No, a BFG. Uh, of course. All right, we're done with the PDWs. But I honestly had very little hope for this challenge by the time I got to the LMGs because I had barely even made it to halfway. Yep, not... I died instantly. I didn't get a single kill with that. And I only had like four primaries left plus the secondaries. I mean, it wasn't looking good, but I wasn't about to give up because I saved my specialty for last, the long range and the sniping. Okay, I'm gonna do the sniper rifles probably after the DMRs. <laughs> what the? Yeah, I don't know. The recoil on this is weird. The iron sight's not that good. Just not a fan to be honest. Okay, I'm doing okay with it. Nine and one right now. Oh, I got a collat. Let's go. Oh, all right, we got the SKS now. Okay, I killed the rank 400. 
Got him again. Oh, wait, there's people up there. Oh my god, I didn't even notice them. Oh, that guy's sniping me again. Whoa. Dang, the SKS is kind of good. All right, I, I'm 20 and two. Oh no, why don't why? <laughs> Dude, I could actually do it. If I, if I do really good on the secondaries, I could actually do it. I don't know, we'll see. I just gotta go off with the intervention though. All right, one kill. I, I really need to get like 10 kills with the intervention. Uh oh, they're aiming at me. All right, we good, we good. All right, one more. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. I don't know if you can tell, but I am so nervous. Okay, I'm on eight kills with the intervention, so I'm pretty much living up to my expectation. All right. Oh yes, attachments, they give XP. I forgot about that. All right, 13 and zero. We might actually do this. Dude, it's a corpse. What? Uh, that makes no sense to me. All right. Oh, wait, wait, I'm I'm, I'm gonna respawn. I didn't mean to do that. I, I wanted to put on this. All right, I'm gonna go here instead. That was close. I literally almost lost it right away. Huh? Guess I, what? I do not understand the bullet drop. Ooh, <laughs> that was so clutch. Uh oh, I can't believe that happened. I thought he was in the floor below. We need um 1.7K. I think we can do it. We have all the secondaries. Let's just get right into it. Oh my God. Not a great start. Oh. That was one of the secondaries, probably one of the worst ones. All right, we'll go here. What? Dude, that makes no sense. Very slowly, but surely. No, why would he do that? <laughs> They're all out to get me. Okay, we need 1,200. Come on, how is that not two? All right, there we go. Oh, the game's over. I think we're gonna do it. We need like 800. We have like four, I guess. Yeah, we have four left. I could probably just get the flare doms, but <laughs> I wanna get it like full kills only. That's one kill. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. We are so gonna do it. There we go, there's another. <laughs> no way. I, I actually can't believe that. I thought it was over. I didn't even think I was gonna get close. Well, there we go, rank 20. So if you couldn't tell, I was taking that challenge probably a little too seriously. I don't know why, but I was just dreading the thought of having to finish the rank using grenades since I am absolutely awful at using grenades. Either way, I'm surprised I successfully did it and I probably have no desire to ever do that again. I mean, I think I had to average like a five or six KDR to, to win the challenge. Although I might consider doing what the original commenter suggested by eliminating a gun every round and trying to rank up like 10 ranks or so before I run out of guns, something like that. If you have any ideas, just let me know. But that's going to be the end of the video. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.